what's up guys i'm nomadic and today we're at the fifth episode of the ableton series so if this is your first episode start right back at the first one so you can see everything that's happened so far so today we're going to be talking about how you can tell ableton uh, once you've identified what key your song is in there's a way that you can actually set it so that the only notes you play mimic the key of your song so it's like if you're not super musically inclined you can still figure out you know ways to actually play things in key so it sounds like sounds legit so uh, check it out okay so now we're back in the project that we were at before and I'm just gonna play this again because I kind of changed the percussion a little bit to sound slightly different but this is basically where we're at now So it sounds pretty good, but now what I want to do is I want to add a little bit of melody, right? I want to add a, I want to add a bass line to this. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to pull up a grand piano. And the reason why I use a grand piano is because it helps me determine uh, what the key of the song is very easily by hearing the notes very cleanly on the piano. Piano is a really clean instrument, so when you play the notes, you can very clearly hear like what note is being played. So I'm going to pull up, I'm going to search in sounds, I'm going to grab a grand piano, and here we go right here. So I'm just going to drop this in and play some notes with it so you can figure out what the, what the key is of this guitar. So... By the way, I never mentioned this, but on the keyboard, um, if you hit Z and X on the keyboard, it shifts the octave. So if you hit X, the, the octave goes up. And if you hit Z, the octave goes down. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I'm just like playing notes on the keyboard, just some higher notes. So I'm going to play this with the guitar and figure out what the key is. Just playing notes that kind of just, just match with it. I like how that sounds. That sounds pretty good. So those keys right there if I, if I look at it on the keyboard, look at the notes on a keyboard, these notes correspond to the scale E minor. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use the scale E minor for this because the E sounds like it's the root. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself a nice bass sound because that's kind of the sound I want to use for this one. There's a really nice guitar guitar bass in Ableton that I'd like to use a lot. It sounds really good. Guitar bass. Drag and drop that in. There we go. So let's say you know the keys in E minor, right? But you don't you don't really remember like what keys E minor is. So here's a really cool way to do this in Ableton. If you go to MIDI effects and you go to scale and you open that up, this whole thing corresponds to a key. And what you can do is you can drag and drop this instrument right before your your bass and it's automatically going to tell you or it's only going to let you play notes in that scale. So we know that this is the E minor scale. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go C minor I'm going to drag and drop it right here. And you can actually change the bass. So instead of it being C minor, now it's E minor. So it's like no matter what key I hit, it's going to sound good because it's going to be in scale. So now I'm going to play this with the guitar and just come up with the melody. Turn this off.
record something. And nah, actually, I don't like that note. I want to start on the E. And there you go. Perfect example. So go in there and I'll just set it to be eight bars. And it's set to loop. And there you have it right there. And there you have it. All right, that concludes today's episode. Next week, we're going to be talking about the stuff everyone wants to get to. And we're going to talk about laying down the drums in Ableton. So definitely you're going to want to see that. Stay tuned.